Attempting to circumnavigate the world seems challenging enough, but what about doing it without a motor? Well, that's exactly what Marcus Pukkonen is hoping to accomplish in the next five years. He's on a journey to raise awareness and funds for small nonprofit organizations that promote positive social change. Six years ago, I was looking at my life and thinking about my impact on the planet and how I could possibly take responsibility and control of the change I was having on the planet and how I could do that by combining all my passions into one project. And I was looking at the life or the future life of my niece and the life of my dad who was quite sick at the time and I was thinking life is short and I should not waste any time pursuing my passions. And those passions include his love for traveling, exploring, being outdoors and learning new cultures. He's also passionate about creating positive change in the planet and supporting local nonprofits. I do really love traveling, but I realized and learned that flying in airplanes is one of the worst things you can do um, for the planet. It has a very big footprint and it's like taking one five hour flight a year is the equivalent to driving a car all year in terms of the greenhouse gases. Pukkonen began his journey seven months ago in Toronto. He canoed across Lake Superior and has since used various human-powered modes of transportation, including a trimaran, kayak and hand cycle, which was lent to him during his travels from Thunder Bay to Winnipeg. But one of the most unusual modes of transportation was in Winnipeg, where he pogo-sticked for 10 kilometers. I thought the pogo-sticking was going to be the hardest part of the whole journey. I thought it was going to be possibly the stupidest part because I would risk injury and get injured. But thankfully, I was able to continue hopping for 10K through the city and every hop I was just smiling along the way. And uh, I think that enabled my body to sort of feel better about what it was doing. And so I felt like I could continue hopping after the 10K. The hardest part so far, the most painful part, was actually on a recumbent tricycle. I left Winnipeg on our incumbent tricycle to cross the prairies and to head to Canmore and I was thinking that sitting down on a comfortable seat would be like part of one of the most comfortable modes of transportation but it ended up being really painful on my knees. But despite some of the challenges he faces, particularly with the weather, he says he's encountered a lot of surprises along the way. I didn't have many expectations going into this. I just knew it was going to be an adventure and full of surprises, and that's why I really love doing this sort of thing. But I'm at a point now where I look at 50 kilometers in a day as like, yeah, I, I can do that. And, and then I realized that like 40 kilometers in is like, this is really hard still. Like it doesn't get that much easier at times. And while it may not get any easier, Pukkonen said he will continue his journey because of his motivation to help support those creating positive social change. I'm seeing those often volunteer run organizations or people who have taken big pay cuts in order to pursue what they're passionate about, whether it be social or environmental justice. That, that always inspires me because that's really the work that I, I'd like to be doing, but I just don't want to be in an office. <laughs> <laughs> in Kelowna, I'm Marianne Ockel for Go.